Yeah, I got a Cooper Hawk drying off. I have a little shower here. Got his tail all fanned out. Juvenile Cooper Hawk. Oh yeah. A nice horizontal limb here. And see all the wonderful bars on his tail. This is a juvenile drying off, so it rained pretty good last night, so I'm sure they're all wanting to be a fanned out and drying off. I'm starting to see a few of the other birds in the berry bushes, and that's why he's here. He's drying off and hunting, so. He got his hackles up to the back of his head there a little bit. We're just making our little bird count. We're on the trail hiking around the pond here and seeing exactly what's in the area. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do the breast feathers a little bit. Oh yeah, we'll keep an eye on him a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, I can. See him working on his wing there, top of his wing. All right, well, we'll check around then. Well, here's a whole flock of starlings just landed right by the Boeing Aerospace Pond. And hopefully one of our raptors will see them and come in and get something to eat. We got a Merlin and Peregrine Falcon, Sharp Shin Cooper. We got everybody here and they feed on these starlings and there's a bunch of them in the other tree too. They just landed so any one of our uh, raptors is looking for a snack and the peregrine when they get up on the ladder there they got a good advantage too so Coop he might be in the area he hunts them but you can see they got a lot of starlings now showing up. All right. Maybe we watch them long enough, they'll fly. We'll see what happens here and see if they attract something. Oh yeah. Looking over her wing. Waiting for the chance to chase something. She's hungry. She does not have a full crop today, so. We'll watch her, we'll get the takeoff. She was preening earlier and now she's really alert. Fog's lifted and she's looking over the pond, looking over the parking lot for starlings or anything that moves. She's got a great height advantage. Anything moves slowly or low by me, she'll be right after it. All right, Let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, getting ready for a duck hunt. There she goes, coming right at me. Sailing right over me now. Oh, it's after a smaller bird. Just missed it. Circling around behind me. Good shot. She's after a starling. There she's dive bombing the red tail. He's on the edge. She wants him out of there. She'll come in on him again. He's on the other building. Boy, she's giving that red tail something. Here she'll come again. The red's wondering what's happening here. Yeah, she just chased the bald eagle away and now she's after the red-tailed hawk. She don't want him in her area. She's back over here on her perch. Laying down the law this morning. These interlopers will know whose area this is. There she is, just a chattering away about it. Alright, she's back now. She can see 360 degrees from this perch, so she's having a good time letting everybody know whose area it is. And we're at the Boeing Aerospace Building, a resident peregrine falcon. All right. Well, all seems to have settled down now. And we'll call that good. Well, let's see what she does here. She's going to clean up her feet a little bit. 
Rouster feathers. She's had a good flight. <laughs> well, how about that? We got all them great calls. Got her chasing the bald eagle out of the area. And then she comes over and gets through that red tail. So here we are. Alrighty then, we'll see what else is going on. Well, here's our Merlin. Sitting on top of the light pole. It's kind of misting and raining today. And he's watching the peregrine over in the vacant lot on the traffic cone. That's her favorite perch. She's watching the kill from the other day. And everybody's wet, waiting for it to stop rain so they can dry up. But here's our Merlin. We haven't seen him in a couple of days. We're all excited about it. And we're down by the Boeing Aerospace Pond. That's our bird watching area. And this guy here has just landed because we just went up, turned around, and came back, and here he was on the pole. This is the spot where the kestrel usually hangs out, but these two guys get along pretty good anyway, so. They've got some kind of agreement, so anyway, this is our little Merlin sitting right here looking really proper. A little wet too, I might add. There we go, a little closer. Yeah, he's just kind of looking over one wing and checking things out the other direction. We also got a Cooper Hawk down in the tree. We're going to go check on him. Oh yeah, this little guy's wet. Well, he's getting a shower anyway. Now he's looking up. Probably sees another bird of prey sailing over. He's looking up there in tent now. There he goes. All right. Well, the Merlin caught himself a mouse or something. He was over by the Boeing Aerospace Pond and flew over here across the road. So it was a rodent. Looks No, it looks like a small bird. All right. So he's made his catch. And he seems to be enjoying it now, so we're going to keep an eye on this little Merlin. And it's breakfast time and it's starting to rain, so we just got a glimpse of him and he sailed over here and I followed him on the hunch and there he was in the tree, so. And the Kestrel, he's over there at the Boeing Aerospace Pond now and a couple of Kingfishers, but we're interested in this guy here. There he is. Get a little bit on his face there. And he's just enjoying this small bird, looks like. See the little feet there? And this is our Merlin. And we're all excited about it. We'll keep a close eye on him. We see him every once in a while in the area, but uh, they're about the size of a stellar jay, and they look a lot like a kestrel, so... You always got to be real careful when it's time to locate them.